It's another beautiful day in Blossom Valley, and we've got a lot to do today. First things first, I haven't really been remembering to harvest our crops, so we're gonna run out of food. So it's farming time. Evie and Luna, you can help. Let's go. Allies, do your thing. Oh, look at them, they're helping. Oh, this is adorable. I love this, look at all the wheat. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's so many seeds. I wish I could help me plant them. And now we can do the same thing with the carrots and potatoes. This really never gets old. Now that we've got our food sorted, I'm gonna put some of it away and we can get on with our main tasks. So the valley's looking quite pretty if I do say so myself, but this area is not very pretty. So we need a better home for our sheep, a better home for our cows and an enchanting area. Do I have, oh yes, I have some touch now. So I can break these pretty easily. And we'll take you and you. We'll put the enchanting stuff away for a minute so we can plan. Sir, hello. Nobody asked for you. You weren't invited. We'll start with planning paths over here. And then we'll go across the bridge. So we'll fill in the path and we'll curve it around to where the animal pens are. And then back by our storage room, we're gonna make a path to where the enchanting area can go. Okay, so the animal pens can go here by this kind of waterside path. And then this goes all the way to our storage room. And I added more so you can turn to the right and our enchanting setup can go here. We'll build around it of course, but we'll put it something like here. This tree and mushroom are definitely going to have to move. Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh yes, this placement's going to be perfect. But before we start building anything, we're going to need supplies. I need a couple of specific things and unfortunately two of them are in the nether. I need shroom lights and crimson wood. And aside from that, we need all the different mushroom blocks. So we need the brown as well as the red. But first we'll go to the nether. <gasps> Wait, no LA's. No, no, no. LA's must stay. Why is there always a ghast immediately? Oh, that's easy. Okay, I've seen the crimson biome from a distance and it's in this direction. We just follow the cob. Wait, I think I went the wrong way. <gasps> ghast, 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 ghast. There you are. No! Stop it! Oh, and I can see the crimson. Uh, let's see, we're gonna have to bridge with dirt. Oh, I think we can just climb down. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this biome. The crimson wood is so good, but the hoglins are so bad. Maybe I should try find a blue mushroom, just to be safe so the hoglins don't come near me. Haha! -ha. <gasps> no, not again! No, no, no. This is not safe. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Away from the ghasts. <gasps> and there's shroom lights. Do we use a pickaxe? No. Wait, what do we use? I think it's a hoe. I don't have a hoe on me. Should be okay. We only need a few. And so we collected our beautiful crimson wood before heading home. Oh, and we also found a blue mushroom and a top up on nether quartz. We're back. And now we have all our nether supplies for building. We just need mushroom blocks. I need quite a few, so I don't really want to just take all the ones we have. So I was thinking maybe we could grow some. Oh, we don't have any of the brown ones to grow. Okay, we might have to take some of those down. So we've got our mushrooms to grow and I assume that bone meal works on them. So we can go get some bones here at our trusty skelly farm. Well, this is full. And we'll hit some skellies while we're here. Oh, also we're going to need our axe, which is getting a little bit low. So we can probably do something about that. Okay, so we've got efficiency, silk touch, and unbreaking. The question is, where can we grow mushrooms? Uh, they need to be in the dark. Yeah, they won't... That's not going to grow there. I don't think. Oh! <laughs> it grew! Wow. It grew and it hit me in the head. Well, that works, but I think we'll see if we can get a better spot. And we'll find somewhere to take down brown mushrooms too. So we got all the mushroom blocks we need, those are for the enchanting setup, but I also prepared this area. So this is ready for our nicer animal pens. The plan is to keep the cows over here, but make it bigger. And these sheep are gonna go over here. Okay, so let's start by expanding the cow pen. And we'll make the corners a little bit fancy. I'm thinking stripped wood and then these, and maybe a little lantern in the corner. 
And then we'll do a post in the middle. And on this side. Oh, they're gonna escape. No, no, no. Actually, I wonder what these would look like as a proper lamppost. So maybe we go one, two, three, and then slab with trapdoors. And maybe leaves. Um, I don't know if I like the magenta and spruce together, but I'll leave it for now. Let's finish the pen. Then we can add some flowers and we can set the cars free. I didn't really think about the inside of the pen, but I'll get some stuff for that too. Maybe that can have cauldrons of water and some more flowers. And that's the cows done, now we just need to sort out the sheep. Also, this guy, what the heck? We don't need all the sheep colours, we'll just get a couple. Oh, and we might need more, oh, hello. Do you want to live with the sheep? Hop in then. And then we're basically just going to decorate these like the cow pen. Okay, Luna, we're basically done. We just got to move the sheep. There's also chickens in this pen, but I don't think I need chickens. Okay, uh, how do we do this? Can we re-dye you two? Oh, we can. We're going to need some more sheep. We've got a spot for pink sheep, red sheep, and white sheep. But we just need one more white sheep. Is there one over here somewhere? There's pig. It's not what we need. I swear there used to be some sheep. Oh, sheep! Hello! Yes, you! Hello! In the darkness there. Come with me. We'll make this one the white sheep pen. Uh, you gotta go. Now we can break this and leave the rest of them in. Come here. Come with me. I don't know how to do this. We need just the pink. Nope, just the pink. Only pink. Well, that's two of them. And then we'll separate the white and the red. And I believe now we're done with the animals. We've got our cow pen over here. And apparently chicken pen. And then on this side, we've got three little sheep pens. I'm sorry, what? Did one of you... Do we have a cannibal sheep? I know that wolves can get them, but there's no wolves here. Hello? Anybody? Okay, I have no idea what happened there. Let me know if you know. But I think we're going to move on to our next builds. There's going to be two of them. It's a buildy kind of day. We'll start with our enchanting setup and I want it to be in a big custom mushroom. So I guess we're just going to start with this stem and kind of wrap it around the crafting tables. I mean, bookshelves. Something like this. And that was the easy bit. Now we've got to kind of make it organically go up and in. I think we'll go up by one, two, three, four, and then we'll kind of taper it in. We've got these cool stairs we can use too. We'll go one on each side. Here we are so far. She's going through an ugly phase, but we love her. I think she'll look good once she's decorated. And we've got it at the top, of course, but I want to start by putting in windows and we'll do little window details in mangrove. Also, I really underestimated the blocks I'd need. I had to go get more, but I think we should be good now. And we'll do a little awning in the entranceway. Uh, like that, or maybe going out one more. We'll also add lots of leaves to this and we'll add some lanterns. Although maybe we should do the top first. We're gonna make the inside of the top part out of brown mushroom blocks. So if this is the center, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And we need to make a circle. Circle done. Now we're going to create a big red mushroom dome on top. Lastly, we're just going to add heaps of leaves and some more lanterns and we'll be done. Okay, this thing is looking pretty cute. Look how magical it looks. I think my only issue that we still need to deal with is I'm not sure what to make the floor out of. Because at the moment it's still grass. I thought of maybe doing mushroom blocks and then a layer of glass on top. And we could pop a shroom light in. So something like this. Ooh, it's a bit different. I like it when you're coming in and it kind of looks like the glowstones are a reflection. And it takes you a second to work out what's going on. It makes it kind of weird and magical. I think we'll pop this down and we'll make a chest of lapis and we'll be done. Cute! Ah, this is so much better than what we had before. And while we're making builds for all of our unfinished stuff, there's one more thing that needs that. What? Oh, gosh. Hello. Ow. Are you all trapped in my crop field? Oh, ow. That's kind of funny. I need my bow. Get your captain. Yes. Okay. You two can go. I love how every time I get pillages, they end up trapped in here. Anyway, the build's a little one. It's going to go right here to cover this hole to the mines which goes all the way down here. I had to block it off because the frogs keep going in, but we're gonna make a little circular hut. Kinda like this. I 
doesn't need to be very big. It's basically just to conceal the weird hole and to keep you out. So let's get building. Look, it's our cute little heart. It's pretty small. It also kind of looks like a mushroom, which I hadn't planned. And there's not a lot going on in here, but we've got the hole. And I think that's all the little things we needed to fix up. We've got the animal pens over there. We've got the little mining hut. And I think this one's my favorite, the enchanted mushroom. But I think that'll be all for today. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.